on, Norval. An uh, exciting round of playoff action. Uh, Trimble lucky to get in with a one and two record. Anybody else other than the two top and, teams. And we'll have uh, we'll have a great game because there'll be a big crowd of Trimble fans here. Queen Elizabeth won't have the fan base, but they get the players. We've seen them a couple of times this this week so far, and they can flat out play. It'll be a great game. Trimble's emotion and Trimble's leadership with Ryan Johnson against the athleticism of Queen Elizabeth High School of Halifax, and it'll be fun to see what happens. Uh, interesting thing, just quickly before the game gets started, we had uh, two 3-0 and teams in each division. St. Malachy's going 3-0 and in the uh, Supreme Division, and Queen Elizabeth High going 3-0 and in the uh, Riverdale Division, and then every one of the other six teams went 1-2, and which led to an interesting tiebreaker situation. Uh, uh, Timmins High, the last, or the defending champions from two years ago, uh, advanced uh, on, a, on a point spread, spread variation, and the Trimble Trojans got in by uh, basically by two points. Just by a whisker. Yeah. Or one basket's what brought Trimble to this game rather than Moncton High. An exciting game for people who saw the Riverview Trimble game last night, and uh, we're still suffering with the uh, headaches of trying to figure out that tiebreaker. But when it was all figured <laughs> out, Trimble's here, it and in the next game, Timmins, uh, Coach Umeyer's team will play against uh, a very solid St. Malachy's team from St. John. We'll be back with that game right after this one's now over in the three-point shooting contest. Uh, referee Al Jones tucks it up. Nice straight throw, and the Queenie's got the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I think they'll be patient, very patient with the offense. Good start inside hoop, Sean Ells just wouldn't drop for him. They're in that, that high octane transition game. Queen Elizabeth has already played once today, Norval. They played uh, early this morning, and uh, Trimble, of course, has been off since their game last night. So if there's any advantage there fatigue wise, Trimble's got a little bit of a break. Board, Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson will be the usual big part of the Trimble offense that he's been uh, this whole tournament and for the uh, three years he's been at Harrison Trimble. Two referees tonight, Al Jones and uh, Dick Steves. Ells has got the ball inside. He's short, and he's going to get called for on the back. Tough call. That's Dwayne Ells first, yeah. and the first on the Trojans after only 57 seconds yeah. of play. Good call. Ells definitely over the back. Certainly would have liked to head that hoop. If he makes the hoop, nothing happens. 0 0, 19 03 to go, and Queen Elizabeth with the ball. Close as this, is, this game's going to be, no matter what ends up happening. Ooh. Johnson gets a hand on the ball. Slow arriving uh, LA Forum style crowd here tonight. Arrive in the third inning, leave in the seventh. <laughs> but never give up their season's tickets. First score of the night. Carvery was one of the stars last night of the three-point competition. Have we got a winner of that normal? I had a no. couple of people ask me today. Oh, no, the, uh, the, uh... The, uh, I thought Jordan There's Croucher was the star of the three-point competition last night, but I haven't talked to anybody who can confirm that he won it. Uh, I'm sorry, the slam dunk yeah. competition. All those things look I, the same to me. Yeah, I was going to say being an yeah. all-earth yeah, foul player exactly. they are. Yeah. Little bump, but he scores it. Three-point comes up next here uh, between games of the doubleheader tonight. That's what's got me all wound up. <laughs> wound, I guess, maybe. 2-2 two, two in 18.07 to go. This is the kind of pace Trimble wants to get into. They are, uh, Trimble they cannot afford to run. Trimble can't run with these no. guys. No, they can't run eight, nine players deep. Craig has the ball on the baseline. Johnson isn't really making uh, Queenie move defensively. A lot of back screens. Burke has the ball. He's up tough, and it's in. Got two. Mike Burke's got to do a big job because... Uh, if they're going to play a half-court game, as Trimble is obviously going to want to do, Ells and Burke are both going to have to pound the ball inside, be big and tough, uh, get some rebounds at both ends of the court because uh, that half-court game is what Trimble's going to need to play. Good strip.
Blake Berg picks up one, and Ells has got one. Two guys who have to be big for Trimble tonight, each with an early foul. A foul on Mike Burke, was it? It was. Coach Brian Forsythe with his normal intense mannerism, rallying the troops on the bench and the fans getting into the game, We've too. got the mics on the coaches again tonight. We'll have some fun with uh, an opportunity to hear what coaches have got to say at uh, timeouts. Uh, that's always an interesting right. opportunity to Good get some board. insight into things. Be smart. Got to be smart. See. Scott Hicks might have been letter, better off to let that one go, Norv, because it was uh, clearly off. Queen Elizabeth Trimble could have had the ball. Uh, I don't think the Coach Brian Forsythe wants him to run. Baseline Ooh. jumper. Sweet looking Jay. Coach Forsyth wants and gets a timeout. We'll go into the Harrison Trimble timeout after only three minutes and 33 seconds of the first half and a 6-4 Queen Elizabeth High School lead. Here's Coach Brian Forsyth in his timeout. Close to block the cut. I don't want to get into a wide open running game. No risk. We get it in and we don't have the break. When you look, lock it. There's no need. We've got four turnovers already. The name of this game is turnovers. Now don't look at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not. You slow it down, man, okay. and do what you've been told. I'm not looking at you like you don't, I mean, you don't know what you're talking about. Give me, uh, you're in. Let's go. Lock it up. Six, four, eight, 16, 27 to go, and Trimble's out with the ball. We'll let that timeout speak for itself. So Harrison Trimble's got a new guard into the game. Peter Graves gets Peter Graves ready. is going to get some minutes, and uh, we'll see how he can handle the ball against the pressure from Queen Elizabeth that he is certain to see with Ryan Johnson out of the game. Right up, Sean Craig for two. He played Great well again last it. night. Six six sixteen oh nine to go. Boys, I'll tell you, they get down the floor fast, don't they? Good. Six, uh, eight, six, uh, 15, 46 to go. Queenie with the ball, and they're walking it down now. Certainly not the style that they like. They uh, must have been listening to Coach Forsyth's timeout. Yeah, I, no, I, no. Maybe. Ice inside bucket. Steve Nelson's uh, hoop gives a 12-6 lead to the uh, Queen Elizabeth Lions. Steven Nelson tries to, does steal the ball again. Maybe Ryan will be back in here. Yeah, on his way. 12-6, that's a tough way, a tough little spell though. This is not what you want to have happen. Nelson Carvery from the three-point shoot, uh, from the uh, slam dunk competition last night, uh, picks up two points. And Nelson almost steals the ball again out front he on is Graves. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Sean Craig's got the range from that corner, doesn't he? 14-8, 14-33 to go. Sean Craig's a good player. Unbelievable. What Tough break for the Trojans. Yeah. Every turnover is going to be important, as you heard Coach Forsyth say in his timeout. Here's Johnson back in for Peter Graves, who will park it. Oh. 
McQueenie back in that half court set. No movement, not very much movement. Just enough, good defensive possession. Chance to pull it back to four. Trimble with the ball. Oh, so he pulled back to three. Sure. 14, 11, 13, 50 to go. Johnson's back in. A he hits the three. Simple game when played well. This is what you got to do, though, isn't it? This is not the same. When Queenie's playing like this, they're not the same. Good trap in the corner. And rotate the ball over. Alan Jones picked somebody up along the baseline with uh, now one of those rarely made calls nowadays. What, uh, what did he call? Three in the key. Oh, I, I, I missed it all together. Well, I, I know you, you were probably yeah, considering uh, a three-point shot. Exactly, I know that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but it was three in the key. And one of those rare calls. Don't mm. see those very often now. Junior high league, fairly frequently. Keep moving. Burke's got the ball. Protecting it. Johnson moving around. Squared to the hoop. Nice job to finish. 16-11, 12.56 to go. They don't miss too many when they have a chance to finish. Steven Nelson is a dangerous man in that uh, pressing defense that Queen Elizabeth's running. Sixteen, eleven, twelve, thirty-seven to go. Queenie with the ball back in their half-court set. Trimble possession on the jump ball call. That's the first possession since the beginning of the game. Queenie must have won the opening jump. Uh, yes. I don't I'm remember. Sure your memory will tell uh, you that. Long ago in a dark and stormy night. Dwayne Ells for two off the out-of-bounds play. Nice job. Three-point QEH yeah. lead. Nice. It's forcing Sean Craig to do a lot of moving at the top of that, aren't they? Oh. Here comes the pressure. Well, that's where they've handled the pressure fairly well when Johnson's been in the game. Better run down again, I'll tell you. Here comes Hell's the uh, second foul. Kendall Summers is going to oh, come in for a minute, take Scott Steves to the bench. Uh, Scott uh, Hicks to the bench. <laughs> Scott Steves already yeah, yeah, loves yeah, that yeah, bench exactly, foul. Yeah, he yeah, loves it. He's got there. a big piece of it. 16, 13, Hell's 11, second 13. Foul. Trimble's got three fouls, and they're all on the inside post players. Was that the second one on Ells? Was, was it, were we right? That was the second on Ells, and Mike Burke has one. Okay. Oh, air strip. Still a three-point game with 11 minutes. It's a nice low-scoring game. Trimble's got a shot in this kind of game. Oh, slow. Harvey for two, he's got eight, and we're only halfway through the first half. Uh, 
Ooh, boom. Brian Johnson picks up his first, and it'll be a shooting foul. Jordan Croucher is going to park it, and uh, in comes Jonah Tosic for uh, QEH. Good pronunciation once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice bounce. Get a good look. Good square on view there. Another nice looking foul shot. 2013 seven point lead for Queenie. Good rebound. Boom. Yeah, nice jumper. Nice, solid jumper. We'll count the hoop and the uh, fouls on 21. Mike Burke, that's his second. He's got two. Ells has two. And Ryan Johnson has one. Up by 11. Can't afford to let this get too far out of hand. What we've got to do if uh, Harrison Trimble's going to be able to stay in this game is uh, stay. You can't give these guys three-point oh. shots down the floor because they're going to score some threes. If you're going to whack them as they're scoring and give them an easy inside three, you're not going to stay in this until halftime. Jordan Croucher picks up his first foul. I think that's the first foul yeah. on uh, Queen Elizabeth. Interesting, too, because they've uh, run a lot of uh, full court. A lot of men, all man. Kendall Summers, uh, Kendall uh, Summers has to take out an earring that he forgot to take out before game time. It's a problem I never had. Ryan Johnson scores two, his seventh point to the game. Somebody there, they stepped in that time. Nice job. Little reverse by uh, Croucher, and he's got six. There we go, Craig Sean finishes. Craig takes him away at the other end, and he's got six. Got to stop at this end, though. Got to get a couple transitions. Yeah, Brian doesn't want to trade baskets. No. So. Al Jones decides he's going to take a blow for a sec and give uh, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth J Joan a tossing a moment to tie his shoes. Good decision. <laughs> Wise decision. Al Jones is known for making many of those. Safety first. Three. Boom. Feel the cannon going off in Central Park on those things. Good play. Nice Shark look by Summers. Nice, little solid game inside. nice look by Summers to get the ball inside and a nice finish by uh, Sean Craig. Uh, 8.15 to go and it's 30-19. Uh, Queenie up by 11. Uh, wide open for another three. Over the back, maybe not over the back. Another nice finish. 
We're going to play some uh, Pizza Hut uh, Hoop Classic trivia here in a minute. Normal, we, normal, we want to give everybody the number 855-6891. Boom, nice finish. Coach Brian Forsythe had just made the decision to get Sean Craig to back off, and that's what the price that was paid, 33-21-735. If they missed the jumper, that one they three point. Many. Franklin's hit his first hoop of the night to go with two foul shots for four points. 35 21, 656 to go. They are shooting the ball awfully well. A good hoop, Dwayne Ells. 35 23, that's 12, 640. Right to the hoop strong, because you want to finish. A little nice acrobatic job. move there. Back nice to 20. The back back to by uh, Craig. Nice board, Mike Burke. Coach uh, Forsythe trying to get a timeout here, but uh, if his team keeps playing like this, he may hope he doesn't get it for another couple of minutes. That's a walk. That's the one that makes up. Dick Steves agrees. And Coach Forsyth gets his timeout. Let's go down and hear what Coach Brian Forsyth has to say to his Trojans. With a 10 When we score or they get the ball, we can't walk down the court with our heads turned. We have got to sprint back and get in our defense. That guy, 24, caught the ball on their foul line extended and ended up taking a layup at our end. No safeties looking, nobody. That is ridiculous. We have two safeties, the two and the three. Get back there. And when you go back, you don't run just back and stand in the middle. You're a safety, you've got to play defense back there. We got to make sure you two remember to be goalies. When the ball's on the other side and they bring the low post high, we got to have a goalie. You also got to know where 24 is. And they're swinging 24 to the baseline. But the first pass is the wingman. The first pass is the wingman, but he's not looking to see that he's there. At this end, don't invent anything new. Don't invent anything new. We, we missed the two here. We give them two down there. Come on. Way to go, boys. 35-25 with 5.59 to go, and certainly a coach, Brian Forsythe, that uh, wants his team to play a little tougher to get to take away those transition baskets, although I thought they've done a fairly respectable job of that, except for the run of about uh, six or eight. Well, the thing is, uh, what Coach Forsythe says is right. If, if the, the little bit of sloppiness, if you're sloppy around the edge in a game like this, you're going to get killed. you got to be on your toes. You can't afford a six or an eight or a ten-point run because you aren't going to be able to make it up. Failure to box out leads QEH to two points. Our first half trivia at 855-6891 for Pizza Hut and Nothing But at uh, 930 Mountain Road and uh, Paul Street in Dieppe. A former QEH star in this tournament went on to the University of Western Ontario to win the Vanier Cup MVP, a Super Bowl ring with the Dallas Cowboys, and currently plays for the Calgary Stampeders. Remember him, Norval? Yes. We want to know the name of that uh, former QEH, QA, QEH star who's uh, now in the CFL. Give us a call at 855-6891 if you think you know the answer, and we'll be glad to get a 14-inch stuffed crust pizza, pepperoni pizza to oh, you. That was a good pizza. one, the one we got here That was yesterday. a good one last night. Excellent pizza, the one that was here yesterday. 4.54, it's 37.27, and 
a 10 point Queen Elizabeth lead. Try to get out of this without anything. That's Boom, nice job for three. That's Jordan Croucher's second three and he's got 12 points in the first half. Nice job by Craig. Craig again. He's got 12. That's from downtown, and three more for 15. Number 24, Jordan Croucher. We've got a winner in our uh, Pizza Hut trivia. Thanks for calling in. Scott Hicks finishes for two. Danny Tushi of Nottingham Drive in Moncton called in knowing that Tyrone Williams, former QEH star, went on to uh, CIAU stardom, the Dallas Cowboys, and now the Calgary Stampeders. 43-31 here, and they're hitting Boom. threes from all over the place. Jonah Tosic hits his second three, he's got 10. John Carberry picks up his first foul. Interesting substitution. 45, 46, 31. Trimble with the ball, 248. Ryan Johnson to finish with a chance to finish with two off this. Get it back to 13. And a rough go here the last last little while for the Trojans with all those threes going. Another one? Uh-huh. Tosic again for three. He's got 13. What an exhibit here of threes. How many threes is that for the half for Queenie? Must be a That's few of them. Six. six threes. Total of 18 points off threes. Whack on the backside by Carvery on uh, Craig. <laughs> Colin Paris in for uh, the Lions. Forty nine thirty three sixteen point lead for uh, Queen Elizabeth with just a little bit over two minutes to go. 
Another three. Hey, I missed one. Better check that rim. It must have been uh, raised a little bit. Three back Three at you from Ryan Johnson. 49-36, down to 13, minute and 40 to go. I think Coach Forsythe would love to get it to 10 or 9. Or 8 or 7. Yeah, that too. Ooh, nice job. Croucher was in under the basket. He had to lean way back to get out to get that ball up off the backboard and through the, the uh, hoop, and he managed to do it. Nice cut. Ells has not picked up his third foul, nor has Mike Burke, but that's about the only good news in the last eight or nine minutes for Harrison Trimble. Fifty-five to go, fifty-one thirty-eight. See Trimble get a good possession here. Get it down to eleven or ten. That force. Break for two, no can do. That's Fouls bonus. on Jonah Tossig. Is that bonus? His third, third foul? No, no. Total no. three for the half? Total of four for the four. half. Four on Trimble as well. Uh, five, I think, on Trimble. Maybe yeah, just four. Yeah. Not a lot of fouls, has there? 51 38, 24 seconds to go. Uh, Trimble with the ball, looking to close it to 11. Dick Steves wants to be careful here and make sure that the uh, ball gets the right possession. Uh, the Trimble coach is saying the last one went to uh, Queen Elizabeth. And they want to make sure that Trimble shouldn't get this one. Looks like QEH is going to get the ball. A yep. sideline official is right of again. Over that. A lot of discussion, little time delay, extra time out. Queenie with the ball with 19, 18 seconds to go, uh, up by 12, up by 13. Seven seconds, I want the three. Oh, Ryan Johnson might have whacked him there, and uh, Croucher is going to go to the line with two seconds uh, to go. Nine and eight. He's got 17 points already. Looking to take it to 19 and a half. Ryan Johnson's second foul of the game. Hits the two and has 19 for the half. Woo. Pretty good try, but no can do. 15 down, 53-38. Uh, Trimble down by 15, I think. Coach Forsythe would have liked to have had it a little closer, but unfortunately it's not any closer. 15 is what they're going to have to live with when they come out in the second half. And if you'd ask him if he was going to be happy if QEH scored 53 points in the first half, I can be pretty sure he'd tell you, no, I was not going to be happy with that. Well, let's take a couple of minutes to go away and uh, give everybody a chance to get reorganized for the second half. We'll come back with some first half statistics and a chance to preview the second half. The rest of tonight's activity, including the uh, three-point shootout between games and tonight's second game featuring the Timmins Blues and the St. Malachy Saints of St. John, New Brunswick. We'll be right back after these words.
We're back with uh, halftime of the Harrison Trimble Queen Elizabeth semifinal game. Trimble down 15 points, 53 to 38. Uh, I thought Norville it was interesting. I, I felt the last six or seven minutes of that half that uh, QEH could have even cranked it up a little bit more and just yeah. chose not to. Yeah, they, you, you mentioned earlier about their substitutions, the fact that they got a fair number of players in the game. Uh, I mean, we saw, we saw Trimble force them to run the ball around a few times. Every time they ran the possession down, clock down into the 11, 12 area, they nailed a three, six yeah. threes in the half. Yeah. Uh, you know, they got, they got uh, one player with 19, one player with 13, one player with eight, and then, uh, you know, a whole raft of other players with fours and fives. No wonder they've got 53 yeah. points and a half. Uh, Trimble, meanwhile, has, you know, two, uh, you know, a 13 and 11 and an eight, and then, uh, then a couple of their kids are scoring. So they're, they're um, you know, well, <laughs> it's not an offensive problem, though, when a team yeah. scores 53 points on you and a half. It's, uh, it's we got to stop somebody problem. And, and the Trojans are going to be hard pressed in the second half because th th with a 15 point deficit, they're got to open the game up a little bit to, to outscore this team by 15 points in the second half. You got to run on them and they just are not going to be able to run without turnovers that are going to lead for easy uh, hoops yeah. at the other end by Queen Elizabeth. So Queen Elizabeth has got them right where they want them. They just have to finish them off in the second half. Not to say that the Trojans can't do it because I believe they can. We saw an astonishing comeback by uh, St. Max against Trimble yesterday from a 22-point deficit. Not to say Trimble's not going to do it. They just got to fasten those bootstraps a little tighter, slap on those helmets, and go, go, go. And uh, you play go, go, go with the Queen Elizabeth Lions, and you're in big trouble. Live by the sword, die by the sword. That's why 10 was uh, sort of a nice number. But now we'll see what happens here. Trimble's not in any foul trouble for us, of course. So either is Queen E. So it's not going to be fouls that are going to play any role in this uh, unless there's a whole raft. Whole, uh, Raft of them there in the probably the most oh, there's one. Probably the most significant foul of that uh, first half was Ryan Johnson's with two seconds left. Yes. It only took him to two fouls, but uh, you know, one more little cheapy there early in the second half, and the, br the man that Brian needs on the floor if he's going to have any chance to run well, and gun with. Uh, we saw QEH the difficulties they had uh, getting the ball up the court when they had to make the substitutes. There's a lot of pressure on uh, young Peter Graves to bring the ball up under those conditions. Well, Ryan, Ryan Johnson has played well all week, but. Everybody who follows Harrison Trimble knows he carries a big load when he's got to bring the ball up the floor and be a big part of their offense, whether he's the shooter or whether he's going to get himself into a situation where he's going to look for the double team and dish the ball off to somebody. You know that Ryan Johnson's going to carry a big offensive yes. load. Now, in the first half tonight, I believe he scored 11 points. Sean Craig's got uh, Craig had 13. A good half. Craig's got 13. So you know, it's Brian not as if Ryan Johnson didn't contribute offensively, but uh, you know the, the, the uh, Trimble Trojans with 13 from Sean. 11 from Ryan Johnson, uh, Dwayne Ells has eight, and uh, Scott Hicks, Mike Burke, and K Kendall Summers have all, all contributed two points. Well, that kind of offense in the second half, they're only going to have 76 points, and Queen Elizabeth's going into the second half with 53 to start with. So Trimble's the got threes, themselves though, quite a hold to dig themselves Real out. significant. What are you looking for in the second game tonight, Norval? We've got uh, the Timmins High Blues, who've won this tournament twice, up against... Uh, a pretty solid uh, St. Malachy's High School Saints team from St. John. You mentioned how experienced St. Ma St. Malachy's is. Certainly that's going to play a big role in the game. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Coach Hugh Meyer, who, who has proven himself uh, year after year at the hoop to be one of the more innovative, creative and uh, coaches that we've, we've had and certainly responds and reacts to whatever style of basketball his team has to play against. It'll be interesting to see what he has to do uh, to, uh, to take away some of the athleticism that... Uh, that say Malachy's displays, but it's I really think it's going to get down to the experience factor, and then that may play the role. Uh, if Timmins can keep it close, they've got a shot at it. There's no question. St. Malachy's isn't a big team, but uh, Timmins is not even as big as St. Malachy's. No. And, and the other thing is I think uh, St. Malachy's goes a little longer. They've got all the kids back who played for them last year but for one, and uh, Timmins really, I, the game I saw, played seven kids. And anything beyond that was yeah. uh, perhaps uh, territory that here. you didn't want to go into. So, so uh, St. Malachy's probably a bit of an advantage. Timmins, like everybody, <laughs> uh, like Trimble and Timmins, both lucky to sneak into the playoffs with a one and two record. And uh, as you say, Hugh Meyer has done some pretty creative things over the course of the two tournaments he's been here. So interesting to see in the second game what we've got. And, of course, in uh, between the two games, we've got the finals of the three-point shootout. That's a lot of fun, yeah. and it'll be interesting to see just uh, what uh, players from what teams are in there. There's some three-point shooters in this game today for 
Queen Elizabeth. And because it's not physically taxing like the slam dunk is, we may very well find that uh, a couple of these coaches, even coaches whose kids are playing in the second game, almost use it as a warm-up for their shooters and decide that uh, people like uh, Jordan Croucher, who's thrown in, I think, four threes in this game for uh, um, Queen Elizabeth, maybe a couple of the kids from Trimble, Ryan Johnson, can throw it up. There's certainly some three-point shooters in both Timmins and St. Malachy's. Well, they had and the prelims earlier, and they just haven't announced for us who the uh, final two And it'll be very is. interesting to see who we've got in that final because uh, that's a lot of fun, and there's some nice prizes for the winners of that as there were for the, uh, the slam dunk winners. Well, we've got about 20 seconds to go, but so far... Uh, I guess, well, now that I take a second look, Queen Elizabeth is out on the floor. We're going to be just a couple of seconds here before we get the second half started. A chance to see what Trimble can do to cut into that 15-point Queen Elizabeth Lion lead. Well, we're all set to go. I wonder who's, I think, oh, Trimble opening with the possession of the ball. Because the last one went to Queenie over here in the sideline, yeah. the one that took a little time to straighten out just who yeah. belonged to what. Interesting new feature, Norval, this year of the uh, tournament, the uh, Hoop Hoopla, put out by uh, McNaughton Science and Technology Center by the Data Processing and Information, Information Processing students. Our congratulations to Curtis Dixon, Christy Lane, Kelly Hicks, Michelle Nugent, and Jennifer Richard for a job well done. It's been fun to have that both yesterday and today, and I, uh, I'm already looking forward to tomorrow's issue of Hoop Hoopla to see what's going on around the tournament. Well, it was interesting, the banquet that we had at McNaughton this afternoon. What a shoppers put on. What a, what a show. Just a wonderful meal by the McNaughton Culinary Arts class and their, their teacher, Carrie uh, Grierson. And uh, the service was wonderful. You know, just a superb banquet. Uh, then afterwards, Coach Steve Kinchowski of the X-Men, the St. Francis Xavier X-Men, and also of the, ne new, the new national team coach, uh, did about a 10 or 12-minute motivational speech, which was well done. Certainly a very, very good afternoon. And I know Bob Ross at Shoppers has got to be pleased with uh, the results of that. We're back here. The Trojans looking to cut into that 15-point lead. Is Brian likely to stay away from the run here for uh, four or five minutes and see if yeah. he can knock five or six points off without having to take the high-risk offense, the high-octane offense? i got to tell you, this possession is going to set the tone. Never mind. Steve Nelson intercepts the inbounds pass. And good job by Ryan Johnson, but followed very nicely by uh, Nelson Carvery. And if that sets the tone, enough well, said. Well, it is. It's, it's the first possession in these type of games is just critical. Four on, on one break. Four on one. Carvery takes it and finishes. Oh, that's four points off the start. They're down by uh, 19 now. This could get out of hand here. Fifty-seven, thirty-eight. Trojans down by nineteen. Trojans with the ball. Nice finish. He can smell it in there, can he? Ryan Johnson's first two of the second half to go with eleven in the first half. Boom, Croucher. Oh. Croucher had 19 in the first half and picks up his first two of the second half. I know. Nice looking form, though, eh, on that jumper. Reminds me a lot of myself before the accident. Yeah. And the accident was birth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one, big fella. But that's all I give you all night. <laughs> 
I'm going to have you back on your heels here real quick. <laughs> Sorry, dear. I know you told me. I know, I know, I know. Don't call me dear. No, that's my wife I'm apologizing to. <laughs> my wife has made convince I told you I wouldn't call you honey on the air yeah. if you wouldn't call me dear. It's been a, it's a struggle. I told you I wouldn't call you moose if you wouldn't call me dear. <laughs> Sorry, a little play on words there. Uh, 59-40, 17-56 to go. Let's zip into Coach Mike Tanner's timeout. Sure, why Elizabeth not? Yeah, Lions. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah since sure, you've lost yeah. track of where you are, sure. no sure. idea. Down there, in he's he's using uh, the international. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, I don't know. You've you've started stay, this. Stay I want to see on that one. The. Uh, uh, well, I feel somebody I hanging out there blowing in no, the wind no, right gotcha. now. I got you. I'll be back with you here in a second. The language is Who Esperanto. Esperanto. I've got it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Esperanto. That's a new language. That's like a vroom vroom, your buddy it there. It is. It is. Actually, 40s. Esperanto. I'll, I'll, we'll talk a little later about Esperanto, Norval. There's so much I can teach you uh, in so little time. So little time. I guess. Good thing it's only a week a year. Oh my goodness. Nelson Carberry for two, three. Oh yeah, it's just there's three, so many threes over here that uh, you can see triplets everywhere. And it's not as if there's one or two things they can do to turn this puppy around either. No. They're playing a, a strong, athletic, well-coached, uh, well-disciplined team. We saw that from the opening gun against a pretty strong Coney team the other day. Uh, we are seeing a pretty solid Queen Elizabeth High Lions team. Yeah, 62-40, Queenie with the uh, ball. They. Uh, Trojans still giving everything they've got typical of their. And this Lions team is a young team too, Norval. There aren't that many grade 12s on it. Nice pass. Steve Nelson for two. 64-40, that was a nice dish off on the drive. Thought he was gonna draw, the Trimble Trojans were gonna draw a charge, but. There are, only, by. there are only a couple of uh, grade 12s who've really gotten a lot of time. Tosic and Wilson, 9 and 14, the two captains are the only two grade 12s getting a lot of time for uh, QEH. So they're, they're going to be a strong team again next year. Yeah, Mike Tanner uh, building the, what has become traditional in Nova Scotia, Queen Elizabeth High School juggernaut. Nice pull up. Whoa! The two seniors, Wilson to Tossig. That's. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the seniors are playing very significant of a role in this no. Queenie Lions team. No, it's a good thing that they've got those younger players to carry the load for them. Yeah. 66, 42, 15, 47 to go. Senior to senior, senior day here. Ryan Johnson has six in the second half and 17 in the match. Nice finish, but can't get it to go. Nice, aggressive, good. There you go. That's the most we've seen of Ells in the open court all week, and he did a nice job to finish. That was a nice play for a big guy running the floor. I already said Loafing that. Down I already the said floor. that. 64, 48, say 14, 56. Different. Don't take what I say and then just repeat it in other words. 
Hate it when you do that. Great. No, it didn't go in. Little run here by the Trojans. Ooh. Uh, you feel you feel bad for him when that doesn't go, don't you? Feel bad for anybody when that doesn't go. Woo, nice kiss. I thought he had far too much glass on that one, but Croucher finishes again. He's got 23 on the match. 66-48, yeah, it's 18. Trojans down, still flat battling here every possession. Nice, nice spin dribble. We'll go with, you remember the name of the young lady a couple of years ago? You and I got off on a frolic of our own about spin dribbles. Beersworth was her last name. And her first name was? Amber. Or, uh, Becky. Becky. Becky Beersworth. Good work, Norval, to remember that. All I remember about that poor girl was. Don't get into coaching now. Don't get into coaching. <laughs> I don't want to hear what you think about her coach. I don't want to hear <laughs> Nice finish for Croucher, and he now oh. has 25. There you are. Oh. Don't know why he went back that way, but uh, I'll nice take board. his game over mine, so don't look on that as a, a criticism. A lot of people will. It is. I think the score, I think the scoreboard is two points short on the uh, QEH score. I think it should be 70 to 70 to 50 rather than 68 to 50. Because it was 66-44 and they've scored twice since. Trimble Trojans uh, cheerleaders doing a great job again, Norval, as they normally do for uh, school spirit at that school. Uh, Mrs. Mullins does a great job with those girls. They've always got new routines, and they're always rocking and socking for this tournament. Another oh. great job by uh, Eleanor Mullins and her yeah. cheerleaders this week. Mullins. Mullins? Yes. Eleanor's last name has an S on it, doesn't it? Yes. No, yes, yes. has an S on it, yes. but does Mullins have an S no. on it? No. So it's Mullen you're telling me. Yes. <laughs> oh, so it has an S at the end. I see. It was a great routine, but Thank Abbott you. and Costello are both dead. As are we if this game doesn't get going again here real soon. I think what is under consideration right now is the proper score, which I contest myself, but if nobody else is going to worry about it with an 18-point Trimble deficit, I think it should be 70-68. Uh, 70, I'd like well, it to be 70, 60, They've checked the scorebook. The referees checked the scorebook. They have 68-50, so that's regardless right. of what we we'll think. Leave it as it is. And, right. and let's face it, point differential is not a big factor in who plays tomorrow, like it was last night at this time. Yeah, 68.50 with 12.32 to go. And Ryan Johnson on the line for two. Chance to bring it back to 16. Oh, those are tough ones to miss. 68 51 12 28 to go Whoa 
Ryan Johnson did a d nice job to get the ball off on the wing, but uh, Dan Franklin came from downtown to take the ball out of, uh, I think it was Sean Craig's hand. Yeah. Sean Craig is our uh, second half uh, Pizza Hut trivia here in Norville coming up, and we'll have a question for people in a minute. Good question, too. 855-6891. Oh. Mike Burke not having much luck inside this. Uh, Sean, Bur really uh, Sean in the Craig's not the answer to the question. The question's about him, so don't call just yet. Wait until you hear the question. Operators are standing by. Nice finish at the other end after good defense at one end by Franklin. He comes down to the other end and takes the ball to the hole. So our second half pizza had a nothing but trivia question for 14-inch uh, pepperoni stuffed crust pizza. We want to know the name of the junior high attended, attended by Trimble starter Sean Craig. Uh, give us a call at 855-6891 for your chance to win pizza from Dave Murray and our pals at Pizza Hut. Three-point play for Mr. Franklin. 70-51, 71-51, 11 to go. Johnson's lighting it up here in the second half, not uh, keeping that, that uh, differential uh, close anyway. I guess if you call 20 close. Fun to watch those two play with each other. Nice board. Real nice board. Another good one. Got a winner in our Pizza Hut trivia. We'll give you a name and a number in just a minute. And just a minute is up. Timna Williston of 6 Huntington Court knew that. Sean Craig went to Queen Elizabeth School. As do other Trimble play other the other two other Trimble players, Peter Graves and Kendall Summers. Dwayne Ells just picked up his fourth foul. Uh, Coach Forsyth probably going to leave him in for a few minutes because at this point it's uh, win or die. Is that his fourth? Did you say that is his fourth? <laughs> I did say that. That was a. James Greer, grade 10 player for the Trojans in. Uh, just going to have to adjust to the speed of this game. Probably played at a level he hasn't seen. Nice kiss. This is as close as the Trojans have been since the start of the second half. All kinds of Queenie, Queen Elizabeth High Lions on the floor. Lions Lion on the floor. Playing five on three down here. They can't get to the hole. Yeah. Finish. Tough one's not to finish. 71-55. Could have brought it down to a 14. See, 10 left of the shot clock. How often have we seen this tonight? Somebody fell Excuse asleep. Me. Chris Wilson will go to the line and shoot two. The uh, foul on Kendall Summers, his first of the night, and the team's third of the half. Yeah, a little, uh, he jumped to the baseline and passed back out. Kendall didn't jump to the ball. Indication of just how well Queen Elizabeth has played tonight, Norville. They've got one foul in the second half after only four in the first half. Yeah. And 
you know, a team that uh, lays the kind of pressure on, you'd expect them to get the odd reach, not very many. Well, we've, uh, we've seen uh, runs up and down the court that have had five fouls in them, let alone a uh, period and a half Wednesday like this. Night, that's Wednesday night basketball, though. 71-55, 9.21 to go. Wilson can't get either end of that. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Ryan Johnson sitting off here for a minute. Mark Harris going to come in and run the point for a few minutes. Somebody better like. do something here. <laughs> Who's going to pick up the scoring load is what I'm wondering. James Greer says, I will, and can't convert it. Nice athletic save there. A lot of nice athletic things this evening from the team in white. Nice, nice job by Tossig. That's a nice pass. They pass the ball really, really, really well. They run the floor really well. They rebound yeah. well. They, they make finish. good decisions in shooting. Yeah. critical thing is though we have seen from Trimble tonight that, that, that the way to beat them it's just a matter of whoo there's a highlight film for Els little ball handling little Harlem Globetrotter uh, spin dribble does it again and uh, throws it through the hole for two nice job by Els here comes the subs Kendall uh, picks up his second. Ryan Johnson's going to slide back in as are uh, three members of the uh, Queen Elizabeth High Lions. Two more starters back in. Obviously, uh, Mike Tanner just felt the air changing a little bit on that last few, those last few possessions. Barometric pressure changed. Yeah. Atmospheric conditions changed. And what started as a small crowd here certainly developed into a decent-sized crowd for a semifinal game. Those 6 o'clock starts kill you. We're going to have to consider a 6.30 start on Friday. Uh, yes, sir. Most bus students just getting home at 6 o'clock. Of course, you wouldn't know anything about that in Riverview. Do they even have school buses in Riverview? No. Oh! Nice finish by Tosic to get the two. Good job to keep the ball alive on the offensive board and to find a way to score it. Nobody on the boards. And there's Tosic again to finish on the pass from Wilson. Not the first time we've seen that tonight. Got the, got the great hand signals after, though, doesn't he? Very stylish. He'll go. Very He'll good go. generation. Good. Croucher picks up a foul, only his second. The team's second of the half, Norville, after almost 13 and a half minutes of play. Good look at Ryan Johnson. Ryan's got 14 in the second half to go with 11 in the first oh, half. Nice board, James Greer. Good job by James Greer. Something that he learned in the Riverview minor basketball system. One of the many things he learned. We sent him over to Trimble as a complete player, Norville. Yeah. 
just a flying when they're when they're like that. It's fun to watch. 80 to 60, the Lions up again. Not unless you're wearing maroon and white. And trailing. Ryan Johnson's done a nice job offensively here in the second half, Norville, but uh, it's been a quiet 14 or 15 points because of the way uh, Queen Elizabeth has been able to control the tempo and, and score almost at will at the other end. Sean Craig for two. Timna Williston knew who went to Queen Elizabeth on this Harrison from Huntington the Court. Team. Early immersion student must be. No, no Birchmount student. Huntington Court, that's in Birchmount area. A uh, controversial call by Al Jones. Oh, not at all controversial. Wasn't even close. Controversy was was uh, how quick he called it. Called before the contact. <laughs> Too bad. No. Tough to get those calls That's when you're Croucher's both moving third. high speed. Tough to make those. As close as they can go either way. Very often, often the defensive player gets the uh, the break. Well, the Queen Elizabeth Lions, Norville, who've won this tournament twice, look like they may get a chance to be the first team to take home three championship banners from this tournament. Is that not correct? That is correct. Thank you, thank you very much. Ooh, nice idea. No, nice job to finish. Kendall picks up two more. 82, 66, 436 to go. Ryan Johnson continues to have a strong offensive second half. Norville, he's taken the ball to the uh, glass every chance he gets. 82-68, 14 points, 3.54 to go. Oh. Carberry for two. That's his ninth point of the half and 17th of the game. Four seventeen, three fifteen to go. Trimble down by fourteen. Walk. Ryan Johnson hard on thirty points here uh, tonight for the Trojans. Oh, uh, Ryan Johnson has played the second half, like we saw play Ryan, Ryan Johnson play last year. Let's go down and see if we can hear what Mike Tanner's got to say to uh, his kids in the Lions timeout. If not, we'll come down and hear what Brian Forsythe has to say to the Trojans. We'll go into Brian's timeout because uh, we can't get into Mike T Tanner's timeout. Over here for Kendall, okay? We've got Sean Craig, V cut, L cut. We got you up here, Dwayne. So you inbound the ball. Ryan, let him get there. Bring it over here to the middle a little bit. Okay, get an angle, come wide and give him the ball. Then that screen should be here. Bang that way. All right, now from there, Dwayne. You're going to go over and set a screen. No moving screen. We pick and roll off of there as James and 
Ken will come in and screen here. We'll go right over there. All right, boys, if the pick and roll is there first, we take it. Now listen, on the defense, you guys got to be really conscious of the goalie spot. Okay, make sure they don't come busting down through the middle. Well, Brian knows he's setting himself up for the third place game tomorrow against the loser of tonight's uh, second matchup, but uh, Brian Forsyth's team is going to work as hard as it can for as long as it can. They have, actually, they've, they've uh, had a decent second yeah, half. Yeah, they've done, they've done a good job. They, they are up against a very, very solid team, and they, they uh, managed to get behind by 15 points, and uh, Queen Elizabeth has played well here in the second half, but they haven't had to push it, and Coach Tanner hasn't pushed it. Uh, the lead shrunk by one point, but that's... Yeah. Uh, Small consolation of Brian Forsyth. Sean Craig doing a good job, you know. Good shot. Sean Craig went to Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Kendall Summers and Peter Graves. Any other questions you'd like answered? I went to Queen Elizabeth. Nice job by Ryan Johnson. He's over 30 points. He's got 31 on the game. Got to admit, I was wondering when Mike Burke was coming back in. Queen Elizabeth renowned since the days of Bill Agnew for turning out superior athletes. And intellectuals, I might add, as well. Yeah. Together. 84-72. Johnson had a chance to pull it to 11. Didn't get it, though. It's 12. 2.21 to go. Queenie with the ball. <laughs> it's a good thing when you, can, when you can jump out of the gym, it helps, doesn't it? <laughs> 33 points for Ryan Johnson. 10 points, 84 74, minute and 44 to go. Ryan Johnson has 22 points in the second half, Marvel. Uh, not sure how wise that was. Yeah, smart play, Queenie. Hold the ball back. 86 74, 114 to go. The Trojans have played a great game. Uh, Ryan Johnson's played a great game. He's at 35 and counting. But the Queen Elizabeth Lions are certainly deserving of being a finalist in the 13th annual yeah. Irving Oil Hoop Classic. And we'll see them tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. At 1 o'clock, we'll have the same Harrison Trimble Trojans against the loser of game two playing for the bronze medal in this year's tournament. After the... Uh, Round robin portion of the tournament with Trimble having lost two of the three games. Their uh, opportunity to play for the bronze medal tomorrow is a, is a real shot in the arm for them. They had a tough couple of matchups with, uh, with Riverview and with uh, uh, St. Malachy's yesterday morning. And uh, they're going to be playing for bronze tomorrow. Ho! Oh. Tosig again for the three. How was it out in... Uh Tosig's got uh, nine in the uh, second half to go with 13 in the first half. There's 22 for him. That was uh, about a stride and a half outside the three-point line. Jordan Croucher's got 27. Uh, Nelson Carvery's got uh, 17. And that'll do it, 91-76, Queen Elizabeth High School Lions over Moncton's Harrison Trimble High School Trojans.
Lions go to the final tomorrow afternoon live on cable 10 at 3 o'clock. Trojans will be back at 1 to play for bronze. Norville, that uh, yeah. matchup, Trimble's got to be complimented. They came a lot closer than people would have given them credit for playing against that high octane Queen Elizabeth offense and the pressure Queen Elizabeth defense. Brian Forsyth came here to win, but he knows his kids gave it all they had and the tank was empty. That yeah, was, uh, I, I'm, I've, I've got to admit, that's the, uh, there were there were real flashes in there of, uh, of an opportunity for Trimble to develop into the kind of team they can't, they could be. Uh, but I mean, it's interesting, sort of interesting, you know, you look at this and they're one and three right now. And they're gonna play in the third place game play, tomorrow for a medal. For bronze medal, that's right. You know, so it just shows you how the balance this tournament's been. Game stars are Jordan Croucher of Queen Elizabeth with uh, 27 points. Ryan Johnson, the game star for Harrison Trimble with 35, count them, 35 points out of 76 Harrison Trimble points. Great game for uh, the Lions and they're set up well to go into tomorrow's final. They get a chance to get a couple hours extra rest. They know who they're gonna play coming out of this game. They get a chance to sit and watch the next game and uh, talk a little bit uh, amongst themselves about what they're gonna see tomorrow afternoon. Trojans get the same chance, but of course they'll be playing for bronze. Let's see if we can maybe talk to Coach Brian Forsyth for a minute, Norville, just to see how his uh, feelings are going to tomorrow's bronze medal game. I'll go down and see if I can get Coach Forsyth and be right back. Certainly an interesting game. Uh, one that uh, is gonna, uh, gonna be good lessons for Trimble, but also uh, Queen Elizabeth was well prepped for tomorrow's final. Certainly an interesting game with a very athletic team. There were an awful lot of good things, though, that happened during that game for your kids. Yeah, that's the best game we played. Uh, yeah. We started to play with some intelligence and uh, you know, some execution. We, we still had too many turnovers, which are going to be the key to our season. But I thought Ryan Johnson uh, had a heck of a game tonight. Yeah. Uh, it was both like ends of the court, rebounding. Uh, but the we second half. There was a run in the second half where you were down by about 22, and you brought it back to 10. And, uh, and you even had a chance to bring it back to eight, and it was a lost possession. Yeah. But yeah. You're, uh, that was, you know, defensively you were tough. Well, we, uh, at the defensive end, uh, I mean, you got to give credit where credit is due. They, they shot an amazing oh. percentage, particularly in the, the three-point line. And going into the game, we told our kids, you know, we pick our poison. Do we, the way we've been playing man-to-man -man defense, do we uh, <laughs> lose by giving up layups or do we lose on the three-point? And uh, we honestly thought that they couldn't shoot that kind of percentage. And, even at the half, we were down 14. We said, boys, that percentage is, will cool off. Yeah. Uh, and we, we approached the second half the same way, and uh, it just didn't cool off. They yeah. just shot the lights out. Yeah, they had a lot of threes. And, they, and, and when they weren't hitting the threes, they'd hit a cutter going to the hoop. Uh, yeah. I, I'd like to, I'm going to have to look at that zone offense on tape. I hope the guys over at the station are going to keep a copy because I, I can't figure it. We couldn't figure out what they were doing to us. Uh, first, we were, we were getting beat on the baseline, yeah. and all of a sudden, it was right straight down the middle. Uh, we were trying to match up, and we didn't have the success we wanted, obviously. But uh, like I say, uh, that was the best we played in the tournament, and uh, hopefully we can build on that for tomorrow and yeah. uh, get one of those bronze medals. Yeah, well, we've enjoyed it. It was an enjoyable game for us to do up here. And enjoy your evening, and we'll see you tomorrow at three at 1 o'clock. Okay, thanks, Norm. We're not, we now have Mike Tanner here, coach of the Queen Elizabeth Lions. A fun game to watch for us. I know it might not have been for you, but it was fun for us to watch. Well, it's high intensity, uh, and that's that's our game plan. We're gonna we're gonna try to put pressure on you for 40 minutes, and uh, we're gonna hope that we're in better shape, and uh, we're gonna we hope that we're gonna get a lot of turnovers on our press and our pressure, and uh, it, because our set offense sometimes it, once we start getting the set offense, we tend to stand around a bit. And yeah. We let uh, Jordan and Jonah throw up the threes and yeah. uh, someday we're not going to get that. Uh, I, I thought our, our Nelson Carvey played very well tonight down yeah. the post and Ian uh, down the stretch. So we, we, we did some good things, but uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to force you for 40 minutes. Yeah, well, and, and you're absolutely right when you, you can just notice the difference in your team when you're in your foot when you're running and when you're in your half court set. It's you do have it's a tendency of your team to sit back and and rely on those shooters. But you've got some shooters that I guess it would be easy to sit back and rely on. Yeah, I, I was uh, the one thing that was a paradox or an irony today is that neither one of them uh, made it through to the uh, three-point uh, shooting oh, contest. Yeah, and they were <laughs> nailing them in the first half. I think we had six in the first half, six threes. Well, so you're excited about the final tomorrow. We were saying this is a chance for Queenie to become the first three-peater. 
Oh, that's right. I didn't realize yeah. that. Uh, I know that whoever we meet tomorrow is going to be tough. Uh, I know that we play St. Malachi's. They're very similar to us. They uh, they play high intensity, uh, full court pressure, uh, run up and down the floor. And it's it's going to be a very tiring, exciting game tomorrow if we play at St. Malachi's. Yeah. Uh, Timmins, of course, is a very uh, disciplined team. Uh, yeah. They're uh, they're very skilled. Uh, they work their offense very well, and uh, you know they'll they'll be tough also. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good another good semifinal. It was a good semifinal from our point of view. We enjoyed it, and congratulations to you. And uh, hopefully tomorrow at the end of the championship, we'll be talking about a three-peat. Well, let's let's hope so. And then we'll have to invite you back next I'll, year. I'll stay More up all time night. away from work. That's right. I'll just yeah. stay up all night and, uh, and yeah, think of my speech. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Thank you, tomorrow. you very much. Well, there you have it. Uh, the end of our first semifinal. Uh, the Queen Elizabeth Lions, uh, two-time defending champions from the uh, Hoop Classic back in the mid-'80s, and uh, we're hoping that, uh, that, uh, that we're going to have the kind of championship game that they've participated in before, uh, continuing on tomorrow. Thanks for joining us for the 13th annual Irving All Oil Hoop Classic. You've just seen the semifinals. We'll be back with tomorrow's bronze medal game and championship game at 1 and 3 o'clock. We'll see you then. See you tomorrow. Thank you.